Don't you come around here Unless you're looking for trouble It ain't a needle in a haystack Or a treasured sea Cousin Ripley, Ohio There's only two kinds of people Badass sons of bitches That say hex machine Now we was poor growing up, Ripley my parents couldn't even afford a crib for me and my brother, or a baby cage, as my dad liked to call it. So what mom and dad would do is they'd put a big cardboard box in the corner of the living room and cut a hole in the front of it, and then duct tape an old, you know, window screen in there, and they stick me and my brother in that. That was a crib. One night, uh, me and my brother Buddy, you know, we was in the box while dad was sitting on the couch playing mountain music on the guitar. My buddy started singing along. Well, it sounded pretty good, so I joined in too. Now, Uncle Francis happened to be over at the house at the time, picking up some moonshine for Mom, and he said, Oh, look there. Looks like you got yourself a bona fide hobo jukebox. Well, Dad really liked that. He said, Hobo jukebox? Hell yeah, that's what I got. You see, Dad had always wanted a jukebox. You know, he liked to go to the Dairy Yum Yum and spend a few quarters uh, playing Alabama songs on the old Nickelodeon. So he thought it was real cool to have his very own jukebox in the house, even if it was of the hobo variety. He taught me and my brother how to play the guitar and the tambourine, and we learned about 20 Alabama songs. So Dad would invite guests over, and while they were talking or playing cards, me and my brother would be in that hobo jukebox right there, just rocking out in the corner. Mom put a coin slot in the top, and whenever we felt a quarter hit us in the head, then we'd start to play him. And we got us a standing gig every Wednesday night at the Dairy Yum Yum. We'd sit in that old furniture box from 5 to 8 p.m. sweating like pigs in a sausage factory. But it was worth it. We'd usually make around $10 USD. And if we were lucky, we'd get some leftover chicken gizzards out of the deal as well. Life was good. We installed a Pringles can on the side so we could get rid of our chewing tobacco and dip spit. Now eventually, Dad started taking us to street festivals and county fairs where we'd set up on the corner and play a cornucopia of bluegrass and country hits. But we ran into a problem. You see, a lot of folks thought that our hobo jukebox was a trash can. One fellow threw a cup of chili on my brother and ruined his Michael Bolton t-shirt. That put an end to our festival days. Now our family might not have had a bunch of fancy stuff growing up, but the one thing we did have was a love for music. And several arrest warrants. Hell yeah, man. Growing up poor in Ripley. Ain't got no cell phones. Don't use the net. Can't recite no Shakespeare. Can't do no man. There's only two things we know Giving us what funds Making the love So don't you come around here Unless you're looking for trouble It ain't a needle in a haystack Or a treasure at sea Cousin Ripley, Ohio There's only two kinds of people Bitches.